Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 9th of 2023, well, it is titled M1, the Crab Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Crab Nebula, which is a supernova remnant. And this star was actually seen to explode here on Earth nearly 1000 years ago, back in the year 1054. And we do have records showing uh, the appearance of a new star at this location uh, in the sky in the constellation of Taurus. Now, when we saw that, of course, astronomers did not know what it was. It was just a new star appearing in the sky, which was something scary in many ways, because the skies were supposed to be unchanging. So the appearance of a new star would have been very disconcerting to early astronomers. Um, what we know now is that this is an example of a supernova remnant. Now a supernova can occur in a couple of different ways. There is one that occurs at the end of the life of a massive star when it explodes. And there is another one that occurs when a white dwarf or the compact remnant of a star becomes unstable and explodes. In this case, this is a massive star at the end of its life, a star much more massive than our sun. And the sun produces energy by fusing hydrogen into helium. And heavier stars will do that as well, but will be able to eventually fuse heavier elements. And what happens is if you build up to having formed iron in the center of the star, then the star becomes unstable. And that is because you cannot get any energy out of fusing iron atoms together. You can fuse those iron atoms together if you have a high enough temperature, but you end up losing energy. It takes energy to do this, which eventually sucks energy out of the core of the star, reducing its pressure and causing it to collapse or implode. And then in the rebound after the, all that material rushes into the center, the material will be expelled back out and becomes the supernova that we see. And after a thousand years, you see something like this. At the center here is a neutron star, the compact remnant of that star that exploded as seen here on Earth a thousand years ago. The outer layers have now been expelled out into space and are continuing to expand and this process will continue. And in fact, this is where many of the heavier elements are created. So heavier elements, uh, they, any, in fact, anything heavier than hydrogen and helium, much of that is created in stars that have exploded and then expelled back out into the interstellar medium to help form seed material for future generations of stars. So that is why we have things on our Earth like oxygen and carbon and nitrogen and iron and heavier elements like gold and silver and lead because of explosions of massive stars and other types of very intense events that happened like this many billions of years ago before the solar system formed putting that material back out for our sun and other stars to be able to form with some of these heavier elements so that was our picture of the day for November 9th of 2023. It was titled M1, the Crab Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be UHZ1. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.